everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be uh, a purchase or pass anti haul release rambles kind of video I've decided to change the title of them to like anti haul to purchase or pass I just think anti haul can maybe seem a little uh, negative to some people and I like to talk about stuff I'm not gonna buy but I'm just gonna try it for a month what do you guys think do you like this new name or should I change it back? Let me know. We're gonna talk about all the new releases that, um, not all of them of course, but just some that I thought would be relevant to talk about. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna go right into it. I have my phone out, ready to go. Uh, this first one, okay, e.l.f. came out with the Flawless Brightening Concealer. So it's five bucks, okay? And it says, luminosity is a click away. <laughs> Create a brightened, flawless complexion with a click of a pen. Buildable brightening concealer to help highlight all over your face. Lightweight formula brightens and highlights your key features. Has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Can we talk about the shape range though? Like, what is it? I have also seen people use this on YouTube and uh, it doesn't look like something that I would like. So I'm gonna pass on it, but I think this shade range is uh, low-key horrendous and elf like you can do better you definitely can we've all seen it so therefore you can do better all right this is probably old news to you all but uh, the P Louise canceled collection this palette looks incredibly uh, lackluster to me I've never really like tried P Louise before so I'm not gonna say anything on the quality I know a lot of people were like not happy about this but like I really don't think that this whole like if you know about the whole canceling situation from p louise honestly it's not that big of a deal it's not that deep honestly like i think people can I, I don't know i just think this is a really weird collection it's not fun cancel culture is not cool i'm not gonna get into it but i just think this is like that's kind of just like ugh. Uh, wet and wild okay this is really neat i did not know wet and wild was actually doing this and they were doing out they're doing a holiday collection and this is called star lux very cool and this picture that's, that's up here is from ulta but it has five lip glosses two lip scrubs three eyeshadow quads three glitter highlighter duos and a brush that's it looks really cool um they have like a pinky neutral one like a brown neutral one and then a like a greenish tone palette the lip glosses look actually really wearable which is great um the glitter highlighter does it look like it's like a glitter on one side and a highlighter on the other i'm kind of interested in it i don't know so what do you guys think about this it's like almost like unsure for me like when the zodiac collection came out i was all about that like i knew i wanted it from the start and then I don't know like this one is just kind of decent all right patrick ta now i've never tried anything from patrick ta they are coming out with this well they already came out with this a major glow face gloss now whenever i hear face gloss i just think of something that's super sticky and gross um it looks really cool it's 38 bucks though a patrick ta is a more expensive brand that's kind of to be expected but it says it's it's a touch it's a weightless gel that glides effortlessly onto the lids cheekbones cupid's bow lip and decolletage um while leaving a dewy shine that captures the light like a prism on the skin it's gorgeous it looks really pretty but i just think like I'm gonna get sticky and i'm not i'm not really into like face glosses no matter what the brand is so i'm gonna pass on it but I just wanted to like mention it to you. <laughs> Next up, Dose of Colors is coming out with skincare. So it'd be Dose of Colors just skincare. And they're coming out with an energizing serum, which retails for $39. It's visibly brightens and smooths and reawakes tired skin. They have a triple dose cleanser, which is a hydrating gel cleanser that removes ma makeup, dirt, and other impurities. There's some typos in here. So it says like remove makeup diet. <laughs> um, there's a facial cleansing sponge interesting that retails for $17 a triple dose cleansing set so I'm just get I'm guessing that's just like a set of stuff and then a cold pressed booster which is a multi-use oil with a mix of six cold pressed extracts that deliver hydration and then a hydro dose daily facial moisturizer interesting um I don't know if I'll be getting anything but I just wanted to kind of talk about it I don't know if I'll be getting a lot of stuff right now because I did just buy like a ton of holiday stuff last month so uh yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna talk about it and have fun. Four Three Beauty uh, just came out with these like cooling facial globes. Now I've seen these, I've never tried them. 
I don't really know what's up with them, <laughs> but uh, they reduce puffiness, promote circulation, use, then you can use the facial oil, moisturizer, or the 4-3 Beauty face, face Milk. And they also came out with makeup remover wipes. So that's cool. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's a good one. Jeffree Star came out with his Blood Money collection. I love a good green palette. Like this, like this kind of green is like my favorite color. Um, so I'm all about a good green palette. Uh, the palette retails for 52 bucks. They also came out with glosses. Don't know if they're still in stock, but I bet there will be a restock. Um, they came out with some glosses. Um, Extreme Frost, which are like the $50 highlighters of his. That's a lot of money for a single highlighter like a lot of money. Came out with some new eyeliners that's like new to his collection, I guess. And then a mini green velour liquid lipstick bundle. Okay, and then a lip balm. Very cool. And then he also came out with like some like merch and stuff like the backpacks and purses, hand mirrors, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I did pass on it. I, I don't really buy Jeffree Star anymore. But um, yeah, just wanted to talk about it. I do love a good green palette though. Like the Huda Beauty Emeralds palette is like, mm, love it. All right, so we all know KKW Beauty is an Ulta. They are they came out with some sets just exclusively for Ulta, like a five pan really neutral eyeshadow palette, a mini lip liner set, and then a mini gloss set. I'm not a big fan, don't kill me. I'm not a big fan of the Kardashians um, or the Jenners. I'm just, I'm not into that stuff, but um, Interesting that they came out with cool little sets. I love that kind of stuff. And especially for gifts around the holiday, that would be a really good gift to get. I probably wouldn't be purchasing it, but I do think it's really cool. Winky Lux came out with these uh, cheeky rose cream blushes. And I just feel like, like, look at these. They're so pretty. I love Winky Lux. They have some great products. But I feel like once I would like use them, the rose would just be like destroyed. It would just turn into like mush and then we'd all just have like regular blushes. They retail for 20 bucks each. So pretty, okay? Like, Winky Lux out does it on everything, but like, I feel like I would just like ruin it. <laughs> so Kylie Cosmetics came out with like a holiday exclusive like collection. I'm not sure if these are, you know, repeats of stuff, if they're new, cause I'm not really, I don't know a lot about Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I don't own anything from her. So they came out with like mini lip kits and mini gloss sets and mini eyeshadow palettes and um, lip trios and just stuff like that. It looks really cute. Again, this stuff would be great for stocking stuffers. So gorgeous, but um, I will be passing on it. Fenty. Oh, I love Fenty. I'm wearing their brow pencil today, but um, this they came out with a diamond box. They came out rose rave which is like a shimmering pink diamond bomb we all know the original diamond bomb i love and then we have royal icing which is a shimmering champagne shade you guys i really want them but they're like 38 dollars each which is like a little crazy for me but i do enjoy the original um diamond bomb so i am pretty curious about them so ColourPop is collabing with Raw Beauty Kit Christie, and can we just look at this collection? This is so beautiful. I really wanted to try it, but I did not end up getting it, uh, and I kind of wish I did, but like, especially that palette. Like, that palette is like so me. Um, I definitely would be interested in those eyeliners, too. Maybe not so, and maybe the sh um, Super Shock shadows. Maybe not the lip glosses, though. I would be interested in everything else. <laughs> I do really want everything. The palette is 20 bucks. The sh Super Shock shadows are seven. The creme, creme gel liners are seven. The glosses are nine. I just think with ColourPop, some, their glosses are, the Lux lip glosses are short, but they're $9. I like, just wish they were a little bigger. You know what I mean? A little taller. <laughs> uh, but this is so gorgeous. I like, I love these. The colors in this palette is, are just gorgeous. And I really want that in my life. All right, Kylie Skin. So they came out with some, um, what is this? This looks like a bath collection. Okay, so they came out with two candles, coconut, vanilla, and gardenia, rose bath salts, rose body scrub, rose bubble bath. Okay, and then an advent calendar. So I don't like the smell of like rose. Like I don't like rose candles, I don't like rose body care, I don't like rose anything. So this would be a no for me. I also just don't really purchase anything Kylie, but very interesting, I, I, she's really branching out, you know? Like she's got candles now, like girl, she's doing it all. Huda Beauty came out with this uh, Gold Obsessions palette. It retails for like 27 bucks. This is so gorgeous, okay? I love the Obsessions palettes already by 
uh, um, Mahuda. I was going to say Ulta. Um, but these are so, this is so beautiful. It's a cult, is this a cult beauty exclusive? Yes, it is. Your girl wants it, but your girl doesn't need it. That's the thing. Do you ever feel like that with products? Like, okay, I, I don't need it. Like, you know that sound on TikTok? It's like, don't do it, girl. It's not worth it. That's me with this right now. <laughs> All right. So this has been really controversial recently, and this is the Morphe uh, Lisa Frank collection. And, you know, they came out with, like, the 35B palette. They got sp a sponge set. They got a brush set. They got a makeup bag. Who, did you guys use Lisa Frank when you were little? I did. I wasn't, like, super into it, but I did like it. Um, I like the stickers and stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to be getting it. I think, I, I do know that Lisa Frank, I don't know the entire story, so don't come at me, but I do know that Lisa Frank is a little, uh, controversial. It is cute, okay? I like the packaging more than anything, which is kind of like a, like a sign that, like, I don't need it. <laughs> so I will be passing on that. Okay, this Huda Beauty Advent Calendar. I want this really bad, okay? It is... Um, $175. That's too much money, okay. But it has like the March Mercury Retrograde. It has like the liner, uh, lash stuff, lip stuff, perfume, skincare. Like, you guys, like I really want it. But like it's too expensive. Like it's way too expensive. But this, this is what an advent calendar should be like, okay. This is what an advent calendar is, hands down. Very nice job. I don't really know exactly where you can get this. Probably on Huda Beauty. So, uh, Catrice and Essence are collaborating with Disney to create like a villains and princess collection. This is so pretty, okay? So like, I believe Essence and Catrice are sister brands, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see, Essence is doing the princesses and they have Aurora. I love Aurora. Aurora is my favorite princess. It's so pretty. Then, then Catrice is doing e like the um, villains. Really nice. But overall, they're pretty neutral palettes. Okay. But I mean, like, that's okay. That's okay. Like, I feel like they're kind of more neutral brands, and that's okay. I mean, they both have great things to offer. Um, I do like how they did, like, little pops of color. So for Snowy, they did blue and green. Ariel, they did red and coral. Aurora, they did purple and pink. I love that. I think that's so cool. And they're going to be affordable, too, which is even better. This is the weirdest collab I have ever seen. And don't come at me. Don't get mad at me. But I think this is so weird. Okay, this is Kylie Cosmetics and the Grinch. This is weird. Okay, like, like, hear me out. Okay, like, I love the Grinch. I loved the original movie. I just, like, don't get it. I don't get it. It's cute. The packaging is cute, but like all the lipsticks are just like, you know, typical lipsticks. There's a couple weird, like two greens in the palette. The rest are neutral. Like, meh. Like it's, mm, it's decent, but like, I'm not like super into it. Yeah. I just think it's weird. Is it just me? Probably. Uh, House Labs, which is owned by Lady Gaga, came out with the four-way shadow palette. So they're just like, I think these are like nine quads. Really cute, really basic. I don't really know where you can get House Labs. Oh, Amazon. Okay, it's cute, but like, I'm not, I don't know, it just, I feel like I use like way more than four shadows to like create a look like ever. So I feel like I would just not have like enough variety because I'm high maintenance. Yeah, I'm not gonna be picking these up. How much did these retail for? Like 20 bucks? $24 for a quad. That's kind of pricey in my eyes. Is it, I, I don't know. It just seems a little much for me. Early Los Angeles came out with the nudie. There is an, an addition to the nudie patootie collection. It's the nudie number two, and it comes with uh, 10 shades, retails for 36 bucks, and then um, two liquid lipsticks. Really cool. Um, I know Laura Lee is all about like the neutrals and stuff, so this looks like a really, really pretty palette. I will be passing on it though. Um, I just, I don't really need something like that in my collection. I think it's really, really pretty though. <laughs> I really do think it's pretty but I will uh, be passing on it. ColourPop is coming out with their Amoro, I think that's how you say it, collection. This is, it looks like their holiday collection. They have like a pinky toned section. They have like a goldy warm tone section. Really pretty, okay? Super luxe. I love these, like, these palettes. They're so gorgeous. Um, I will be passing on it, I think. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But it's, th this is so beautiful. I really want that like, mauve palette that's really pretty violet voss came out with the forget me not eyeshadow palette and these are one of their mini palettes which was for 18 bucks 
love the blues. I like how instead of doing like just like one blue and the rest are neutral, they have like two neutrals and the rest are blue. I love that. That's great. Great Violet Boss. Like shout out to you. So pretty. Um, I already do have like a blue, couple blue palettes that are similar to this. So I will be passing on it, but like, um, that's super cute. And if you have somebody who likes color in their eyeshadows and stuff, this would be something for them. Like I do know that I have a friend who would absolutely love that palette. And so yeah, 18 bucks. That's a really good deal. KKW fragrance. Let's do this. So, um, they added additions to the crystal family. Okay. This is what it says on here. <laughs> uh, we got crystal peach, crystal rose, and crystal vanilla. I have never smelled a KKW fragrance that I like. And I've smelled every single one of them that has come into Ulta. I know that sounds really rude, but like every time I've smelled one, I've been like, oh, what? I don't know. I'm really picky with scents, but I'm just like, what? I don't get it. I don't get the hype. Like they just don't think they smell good and I'm not into it. And I don't really, I really don't believe these bottles stand up on their own. Cause when I used to work at Ulta, we had just gotten one of their crystal bottles and it could not stay up. So we had to prop it up in the special holder that came with the planogram. Really, you're just gonna have that like laying there on your vanity or your dresser. I don't know, it doesn't really seem like something I would be uh, interested in. But I, I mean, scents are different to everybody. So what I let, don't like, maybe you're gonna love. So I always recommend trying sniffing stuff in the store. Don't just buy it online. <laughs> Lunar Beauty, I was really excited to hear what this holiday collection was. And this is really pretty. This is the Eternal Eclipse palette. Also came out with like a lip, lip a uh, liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, and brushes. Uh, very, very pretty, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna pass on it though. I do have palettes similar to this. I do really wanna try out Lunar Beauty though. I really wanna try their Moon Spell palette, but this is so gorgeous, so pretty. Okay, let's just like, we just need to like appreciate it because it's so gorgeous. Uh, Glam Light came out with the Paint Pro palette. This looks like a brighter version of their first paint palette. I'm a sucker for anything rainbow. I don't know why I always have been, but I'm just trying to think here. Like it's so gorgeous, but no, <laughs> it's really pretty though. I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted to try glam light. I just never have. For the holidays, ColourPop is coming out with two new, 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 um, nine pan palettes. They're coming out with a blue one called on cloud blue and then a pink one called cloud spun. I don't think they're super like, oh my God, I need it. I don't really feel that way. They're really pretty though. Okay, they are cute. Um, I'm gonna pass on them. I, what are the prices on them? They're like 12 or 15 bucks, really cheap. Um, I think the ColourPop eyeshadows are really good. I just ranked my ColourPop palettes not too long ago. I'm gonna link that down below for you. Overall, I'm just gonna pass on it, but it is really cool. Speaking of ColourPop, um, they also came out with the Big Poppy palette. Now, just like their Sunshine, there's some um, Sunflower my apologies, the Sunflower palette. Um, this is more like oranges and stuff, but they're all matte. Again, super cool, right? Super cool, I love that concept. Um, I got to create a really pretty look with it. I did create a look with it in my like four palettes, one review video, and I'm gonna link that down below. I tried out like the Candyland one, the Sunflower one, uh, Hocus Pocus, and then a uh, Garden Variety. So go, go check that out, it'll be linked down below for you. Bessame Cosmetics always has like a, like a, just like a spot in my heart. I don't know how to describe it, I just love them. They are so good. Um, they're collabing with Mary Poppins. Oh, they collabed with um, Sleeping Beauty last year and I got the um, Sleeping Beauty palette for Christmas and it's so good. Uh, this is so cute. I love when they collab with Disney because they just always do it so authentically and beautifully and I think for the time being, I am gonna pass on it, but this is really, really cute. They even got the red lipstick for Mary Poppins. Like, you guys, <sighs> more from ColourPop. All right, they're just, they're coming out with it all right now. Uh, they're coming out with the Fade Into the Hue palette. This is like a rainbow palette. We've never seen the square pans from them. Very cute. They also came out with the Color Me Obsessed liner roll. Uh, it just looks like a bunch of like pastel-y kind of liners, little like pastel rainbow moment. Um, I thought about it for a split second. I'm gonna pass on it. I don't need another rainbow palette. We're saving money this holiday season. Next one I wanted to talk about before we close up this video is um, Too Faced just announced they're coming out with two new eyeshadow palettes for the holiday season. Um, they're coming out with the That's My Jam, 
which is like, and it's one of the smaller eyeshadow palettes, the same size as like the salted caramel one, which I already did a review on. I'm gonna link that down below as well. And they also came out with Let's Play. These look like just neutral palettes with a pop of either purple, purple or pink. Sorry. Um, they also are coming out with the Light My Fire and Kitty Likes to Scratch. We already talked about them. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really into them. They are really cute. They retail for uh, $27. Again, super cute. But that's my jam is not my jam. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you are or are not buying this month from these releases. And that is all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe too. Like subscribe and ring the bell. Like that that's huge. It means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out more than you could ever know. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.